we will deliver those promises for everyone. The official opposition. Prime Minister, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost, crime, or corruption. After eight years, his inflationary taxes and deficits have uh, doubled the national debt, driven inflation to 40-year highs, and tw 2 million people to food banks, a record-smashing number. After eight years of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister, uh, work doesn't pay. You make it, he takes it. After eight years of this Prime Minister, housing costs have doubled, mortgage payments doubled, rent doubled, uh, down payments needed for an average home doubled. After eight years we have uh, of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister, we have crime, chaos, drugs and disorder. He is not worth the cost, crime or corruption. And nothing could be more emblematic of this waste than the Arrive Scam app, an app that was supposed to cost $80,000 but went to at least $60 million. What did the NDP do when they found out that the Prime Minister needed more money for his app? They voted that money. Even though they knew full well the app was supposed to cost 80000 they voted at least $24 million additional dollars for an app that didn't work, on which 76% of the contractors did no actual work, on which the prime contractor got IT contracts, even though they do know IT, and they're headquartered in the basement of a cottage. This is part of a $21 billion boom in outsourcing by this government, a 100% increase in external consultants, that costs $1,400 for every single Canadian family. Federal taxes for consultants, $1,400. Mr. Speaker, today we call for all the details in Arrive Scam to be released. The uh, Auditor General says she doesn't know how much was spent. It was at least, at least $60 million. That's why we want the government to be obliged by the, this House to release all the documents, all the costs, tell the truth. We want to know everybody who got rich through this corruption and how much Canadians actually had to pay for it. We're going to get rid of this app. We're going to cut back on outside consultants. We're going to cap spending, cut waste, balance the budget to bring down inflation and interest rates because our common sense priorities are to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime, axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime, axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime, axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. It's common sense. Let's bring it home. Questions and comments? Kessia Kamantar, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Can you imagine the bumper sticker? They're going to fix the budget. <laughs> fix the budget, they say, Mr. Speaker. But let me, let me tell you, Mr. Speaker, allow me to tell you. Order. Let's just, uh, I, I'm having trouble hearing the Honourable Member. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Well, Mr. Speaker, that is actually code for the Conservative hidden agenda. We talk about the mega Conservatives, Mr. Speaker, where we can talk about the far right headed by the leader himself. You know, I, over the weekend I, I hear this uh, 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 YouTube video uh, from Donald Trump. And it was something like, it was something like common sense conservatives. We are common sense conservatives. Look in the mirror, Mr. Speaker. Today we get the common sense conservatives on fixing the budget, which really means the hidden agenda. That means cuts. That means cuts to civil servants. It means cuts to social programs. Will the leader of the Conservative Party be honest with Canadians and tell us exactly what it is he has plans on cutting? Leader of the official opposition. Yes, we will cut the arrive scam, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. We're going to cut the $21 billion given to these high-priced consultants, uh, which have gone up by 100%, doubled under this government, to cut the $35 billion infrastructure bank that has not built any infrastructure. We're going to cut the billion-dollar green fund that has not actually delivered any green technology, but, in, but uh, for, of which $150 million have already been misplaced and misappropriated. I could go on, but I'm being extremely specific because it's so easy to list waste that we can cut. He says that all of these things, axe the tax, build the homes, uh, 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 fix the budget, and stop the crime should be made into pump bumper stickers. Mr. Speaker, they will be made into bumper stickers because we have a very easy to understand common sense agenda and there will be vehicles right across this country that share that agenda. He says it's hidden. How could it possibly be hidden if it's going to be on a bumper sticker? 